Hi food day lovers, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to compare all of my red squirrel bristle brushes that I have currently in my food day collection. And I'll be featuring the new Koido Year of the Rabbit brushes. I got mine from Beautylish. As I'm filming this, they are still available. So I definitely want to get this video up before they sell out because I know they've been selling out pretty quickly. I'm actually surprised, knock on wood, they're still available as I'm filming this. So hopefully everyone who didn't get a chance to pick them up, if you're still interested in them, you'll be able to pick them up before they sell out again. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with my Takeda Red Squirrel brushes. So this is a custom that I made with Takeda. Um, the numbering on this one is the 19 SOVD41. And again, it's Red Squirrel. So this one is 41 millimeters in length. And it's definitely one of my favorite powder brushes in my collection. Especially where Red Squirrel, you often enough don't see Red Squirrel that is really thick. And when I customized this with Takeda, I told them that I wanted it dense and thick. Or as dense and thick as Red Squirrel can get. Because I know that... Um, Red Squirrel is getting harder and harder to come by nowadays, so I was really lucky they were able to bundle me this brush. Um, I know they're really running out of stock, so it's definitely becoming more and more rare. But in this video, I can definitely give other options if you A, either don't want to go for the Takeda because they are um, really pricey. Um, but yeah, there's definitely other options for sure, but Takeda's Red Squirrel is super luxurious, very, very, very soft. What I love about it is even though the hairs are really fine and it feels like a cloud on the skin, it still picks up and disperses powder absolutely beautifully. There's just something about it. Just stunning. And then the next brush is my other Takeda Custom. This one is the 16 SOVD34, again, Red Squirrel. And this brush is another brush I wanted to customize. I really like my brushes to be very square in shape and as thick as they can be for Red Squirrel. Um, Takeda had initially made me a test brush for this one and it still wasn't as dense as I wanted it to be, so I had them do it again, and this is the shape that I got with the thickness. And this one, again, is 34 millimeters in length. Really soft, beautiful. I love this brush with blush, and I'm sure you could also use it with bronzer, but I really love it with blush. Very, very, very soft. Something about Takeda's bristles, even though you're paying that premium cost, you're definitely getting really, really good quality when it comes to Takeda. They do not skimp on quality, that's for sure. And the next brush I have recently shown is the Tonsado Aka Series brush. This is the AQ20, and I have now washed it, and this is 40 millimeters in length. Very, very soft. Tonsado's um, Red Squirrel, as I mentioned previously, is super soft and silky. Here it is compared with my Takeda. And let me see. Yeah, so these are actually advertised as the same length, 40 millimeters in length. But you can see my Takeda is a lot thicker and denser and you can see it in the ferrule but they definitely serve different purposes I have not gotten a chance to use the Tonsado yet so I'm really interested to see the pickup power compared with my Takeda because I know my Takeda Red Squirrel picks up and disperses product beautifully I do not doubt that this brush will do the same I can just tell its quality it's super soft and luxurious 
And then the next brush I did recently again show is the Tonsado Aka Series AQ14, and this is 25 millimeters in length. Red Squirrel. And I definitely wanted to compare it with the Cuyudo. Let's see, it's the large eyeshadow brush, and this one is 18 millimeters. So the Tonsado 25, Cuyudo 18. So you can really see how much bigger the Tonsado is. And this is a pretty big eye brush for me personally. And this one definitely has more bristles packed in. You can see how much thicker, of course it's longer, but it definitely, but this one is super soft. I can't wait to, to use the Cuyudo. And the Cuyudo, what I noticed is these hairs, they feel stronger in a way. It's the way I can describe it. Um, and just the way the bristles are, like they're just beautiful. They're really straight, really fine, but they're very silky. And I love the way that this brush bloomed out. It's got that beautiful taper. So I really feel like you could pack shadow on the lid, you could blend it out. It's just beautiful. I did hear, I don't know if it's true, but I saw it on Instagram where these Cuyudo Red Squirrel brushes, they're advertised as Red Squirrel on Beautylish and other retailers, but I heard that it's a species of squirrel called Red Tail Squirrel. And when I look at the coloring, especially in person, um, the Cuyudo almost has more of a chestnut, amber, reddish tone. And not only that, but the feeling feels different to me. Like it feels stronger, like it has more resistance to the bristles, if that makes sense. And then the next brush is the Cuyudo Year of the Rabbit Powder Cheek Brush. And this is 32 millimeters in length. And this brush is stunning. It still feels like a cloud on the skin. It's still very light and airy feeling. That's what's amazing about Red Squirrel is you almost feel like there's nothing on your skin. It doesn't move your skin around. It just glides effortlessly on the skin. Absolutely stunning. And definitely a few brushes I wanted to compare it with. So we have the Shosha Long, and this is the Z07 brush, Red Squirrel, and this is 35 millimeters in length, but you can see the circumference of the Z07. It is a lot bigger than the Cuyudo cheek brush, but the millimeters on the Shosha Long are just a little bit, let's see, three more millimeters than the Cuyudo but it's definitely got more of a circumference. Now, the Show Show Long, very, very, very soft. Beautiful, and unfortunately the Z07, I checked before filming this, it is still sold out on Show Show Long's um, shop right now. I am hoping that they'll restock though because I know a lot of you picked it up on the recent restock like I did. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous brush. And again, but there's just something about the Cuyudo. You can see, like if I was to move these around, the Cuyudo just has more resistance to the bristles, whereas the Shosha Long splays out a bit more. And you can really see that here. So the Shosha Long, even though obviously it has more of a wider circumference, the way it's bundled, but the Cuyudo just has really nice resistance where the Shosha Long really does splay out more. So I'm happy to have them both because I do feel they're gonna perform ever so slightly different. And you can see the coloring difference in the bristles. Not by much, but I know with the naked eye, I can really see it. Just stunning. But I also wanted to compare the Cuyudo with the infamous Chikohoto KZ4, and this is also 35 millimeters in length, just like the Z07. 
Now, Kazan squirrel is obviously a different species, different type of squirrel, but softness wise, oh, they're so close. Honestly, so close. And you could see the coloring difference. Kazan squirrel is darker, whereas the red squirrel on the Coyuto has that chestnutty coloring to it. I just really love the coloring on the Coyuto brushes. And I also meant to mention they have darker tips. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it in this video here, but it starts lighter and then goes darker. The tips are darker, which I find very interesting because I didn't really notice that with my other red squirrel brushes. I don't know if you're gonna really be able to see in this video, but the coloring difference of them. The Shosha Long is definitely really red, whereas this one's like a deeper chestnut. And then the Kazan is kind of like a deeper brown. Nonetheless, all three of these are just beautiful. But you can just see how the Cuyuto is really straight. Like some of my other red squirrel brushes, they tend to fray on the sides. And that's why I actually will keep them in brush guards a lot of the time just to kind of keep the hairs from getting ruly, so to speak, um, because they are such delicate hairs. You really have to be careful with red squirrel, the way you store them, wash them, use them. You have to really, really use them with care. But if you're someone with sensitive skin, they're a wonderful option, really, really good option, because you really do not feel the hairs at all, <laughs> at all on the skin. Um, but just also, I wanted to bring out my Shosho Long um, Z04 angled brush, and this is 45 millimeters in length. And this one has a lot more splay. This one probably has the most splay out of all the brushes that I'm showing today. It's got really nice movement on the skin, very fluffy and airy. And it's not going to be the best for anything targeting. I would use this mainly for powder. And then of course we have the Show Show Long Z04, which is 45 millimeters in length. So here they are next to each other. And the Z05, I adore this brush with bronzer because you'd be amazed at even how soft these are the pickup power of these red squirrel brushes. Like they just pick up and disperse product so beautifully. I used it with my Gucci bronzer and I just loved the airbrushed effect it gave on my cheeks. It looked so good. And again, it really just picked up that bronzer and dispersed it beautifully. I definitely want to compare the Z04 Show Shalong to my Takeda. So the, or I'm sorry, the Z05 <laughs> uh, with my Takeda. So these are actually the same exact millimeters, both at 41 millimeters in length, but you can see how much thicker my Takeda is compared with the Z05. You can see at the beginning of the ferrule just how thin the Shosha Long is compared with the Takeda. Takeda definitely has more bristles packed in. So I'm happy to own both because this brush I can really use with bronzer. I haven't tried my Takeda with bronzer yet. I mainly use it for powder, but now seeing how much I love my Show Show Long with, with bronzer, I may give it a try. And here they are from the front view. But yeah, I, I'm definitely happy to have them both because of the density difference. And I'd say in person, the coloring is pretty spot on. They're not too, too different in their coloring. I would say the Takeda maybe has a little bit more red to it. Slightly though, and honestly, softness wise, they are so similar. I would say the Takeda almost feels a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit softer, but I think it's just because it's denser and it has more hair packed in. And you can see where the Shosha Long, it's almost a little lighter at the base, 
whereas the Takeda is pretty deep all the way through. But honestly, if you are somebody who doesn't want to spend Takeda's pricing, you are not skimping in quality when it comes to Shosha Long. They really just have amazing quality brushes, especially for the price, because when Shosha Long has their sales, I feel like you can get really good deals. And not only do they have their sales, but you can also use um, coupon codes on top of that. So they'll oftentimes have like $2 off coupon code, $4 off coupon code on top of their sales. And their sales, they really, really have great deals. So that's definitely a time to pick them up, I would say, is when they have their sales. But, oh, the other brush I wanted to show is the Chikahoto KZ2. And this one is 45 millimeters in length which is the same length as my Shosha Long Z04 angled brush. So these are the same length. And again, there's the coloring difference. You can really see the coloring difference between Red Squirrel and Kazan. Again, Kazan is definitely deeper, but the Kazan is super soft. Um, I would say ever so slightly softer than the Shosha Long just because, I mean, the tips of the Shosha Long feel really soft, but all the way through the Kazan really feels very soft. Not saying the Shosha Long doesn't, but just in comparing and being super picky for this video. Um, and you can see the Kazan almost behaves similarly to the Koyudo rabbit brush where it has a little bit more resistance just a little compared to the Shosha Long Red Squirrel. This one kind of splays out more. That one splays out less. Again the shapes are different though and my um, KZ2 I have kept in a brush guard so keep that in mind it definitely usually fluffs out a lot more but you can see how much hair is packed into the ferrule. This one's a little bit more pinched due to that angle shape. And I really, I uh, I think we all wish that Chikohoto could somehow miraculously bring back their Kazan series. So many people missed out on them and they really are such amazing brushes. But honestly, if you're somebody who missed out on the KZ4, then I would say you'd be more than happy with the Shosha Long Z07 or this Koyudo Year of the Rabbit brush, honestly. Um, which, I mean, obviously the sizing is a little bit different, but you're going to get a very, very similar effect on the skin. And in fact, I haven't gotten a chance to use the Koyudo yet, but I really love the resistance it has, where it doesn't splay out nearly as much. And I feel like it's just going to be really good for uh, blush, maybe even targeted bronzer, contour. Really beautiful. And again, I'll bring out the um, Z07 round. So they're very similar. They're gonna behave very similar. So if you missed out on the KZ4, I would definitely pick up the Shosha Long um, Z07, or I would try to get the Koyudo while it's still in stock because it's really beautiful. And it's a great alternative. What I really love about the Cuyudo, of course, is the Radin design for the Year of the Rabbit. Look at that shift. It's just stunning. And honestly, like, pictures and videos never do Radin handles designs any justice. They're just so beautiful the way they shift in the light. And then here's the Yushiki engraving. And in person, you can really see the ferrule how the gold has that shiny shift. It's beautiful. I love that. And even the black handle, which I won't be able to pick up on camera, has a little bit of a sheen to it as well. Just beautiful. And again, here's the two eye brushes again. And I feel like the small eye brush, the blender shader brush, is gonna be really good shader. Um, especially if I just want to pick up a quick little amount of shimmer and give that natural effect on the lid, like a natural shine, natural sheen, nothing crazy. 
Whereas this brush, I feel like I'll really be able to use it as a blender. And you could even pack on the lid, blend. It's a nice versatile shape and it's really thick. Like you can see how thick that is. For it being red squirrel, they really didn't skimp out on the hair. Just beautiful. Honestly, I um, I never hardly pick up sets <laughs> because I have so many brushes, but this set, when it came back, I didn't think I'd have the opportunity and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it because I really enjoy the shapes, all of the shapes. You know, what, one thing I can recommend is never get a set if there's a brush or two you're not gonna use because it's not worth it, they're very expensive. So when there was this set and I truly loved the shapes of all three brushes, I knew it wasn't gonna be a wasted purchase. So that's something to always keep in mind. Keep in mind with your preferences, the way you apply your makeup, are you gonna use every brush in the set? Is it really gonna be worth the investment? Um, Cause there's always gonna be new brushes on the market. So always keep that in mind. It's Never the end all be all, you know, even though something's hyped, really think through and say, am I gonna use this? Is this gonna fit my style? And that's one thing I could always recommend. Um, and that's really why I tend not to get sets, but I was comfortable knowing I would, I would definitely get used out of all three of these, so. But I think that is about it. And I hope this video was helpful. I just wanted to give comparisons of all my Red Squirrel and include my Kazan series brushes. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Did you guys pick up this set? Are you excited? Do you like red squirrel bristle brushes? And um, other than that, I will see you guys in my next one and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys. Bye.